What's up guys, this is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War. Let's play as the Ottoman Empire. So, to pick up where we left off, uh, the Native Americans have responded to our march onto their capital and they have decided to push out and it's going to draw, um, I think, all of their forces to battle because this is their garrison here. Significant amount of bowmen, however we do have our, our French knights as I call them. <laughs> um, which will do a good amount of damage to those lightly armoured bowmen. But, let's engage. Um, so at least this would be a bit different, rather than the the Mughal stomping of the previous episodes. Uh, at least this will be just a taste. A taste of something different. Because I haven't really been doing a whole lot in the Americas. I mean... Okay, so let's keep my guns away from the woods. I want to walk them down the hill a bit because my siege guns are going to be up here. Lobbing shells from a distance. So let's put... So I always like putting either three or four units in the center because it always feels like that's a good amount of muskets. You've spread your guns out and it also means you've usually, or I've usually, left I got, I got a good amount of units spare to uh, do some interesting stuff around the flanks I'll actually send some send a skirmish line forward for once that'd be a bit different aren't you oh this outcrop is preventing me from deploying I can deploy up to it there we go Put a unit of a unit, I said. A French knights on either flank. Put a unit of Janissaries ready to deploy somewhere. My howitzers are just going to open up on whoever they see fit. So our line. Wants to advance. Poor, poor Lancer. Okay, get you guys to run, because you do have to make up some progress. See, so from back here, my heavy artillery should be a bit okay when it comes to opening up. Well, I suppose we do want to slowly... Push this flank around even now. Keep my knights on the move. Okay, you're, in, you're ready. You can fire at the lancers. Because they are going to charge. But I play fast and loose. There we go. Oh! <laughs> it's because it's the only target they can, they can actually hit. Okay, let's switch to round shot. Give them some more options. something a bit more like this. My heavy guns, they can't throw a shrapnel too far, but let's... My plan to drop out, eh, to run out of skirmish line didn't really work, did it? Okay, let's... Push you guys forward. Okay, now it's time for the bowmen to fire. Well, where's my cavalry? All the way back here. You men drop into square because the chief's bodyguard is on the way. See, they're so close, I might just huck canister shot at them. 
you men make ready and fire, hopefully. Don't like I can't hear the shrapnel. Yeah, the bowmen have exposed themselves. Bring in the heavy cavalry. My general can get involved as well. It is all mostly bows. My knights are doing a number on them. And the native warriors are coming back. So you guys charge this way to go hit that native bow unit. Yep, they've been obliterated for the loss of one knight. Make sure you go switch to round shot and aim at some other unit. God, this cavalry is so good! Okay, maybe not that good. Yeah, things aren't not aren't going according to plan for them. You thought this is going to go so, so differently, or oh, they just accepted the fairly inevitable reality that if they let, if the, regardless of what they did, if they're just going to let me set up. Expecting some hidden units to run around and cause problems somewhere. But a big priority of mine is destroying as many of the enemy's units. Well, not destroying the units, but just trying to do as much damage as possible so that. Okay, let's maybe get you guys out of there and start to chase down that unit. Because yeah, it, any units I kill now are units I've not got to fight in the resulting like city siege or the city battle. So I may as well take advantage of my breathtaking superiority on the battlefield now while I can. I don't even care if the warriors charge into me. Okay, let's get you out of there. Okay, let's stop all my artillery. Yeah, they should be they should be shaken. Their entire army is in is fleeing in a enormous panic. And there's nothing they can do to prevent it either. So they're surrounded by furious Ottoman troops recruited from faraway lands. Your morale is good. Native American warriors, but not good enough. Oh. 
just had a drink of orange and pineapple squash. Which I guess in other parts of the world you'd call it cordial. I'm not literally drinking a squash, it's just... It's the name that we give to a... Uh, sort of like sort of like fruit juice you add water to so because we've destroyed almost all their forces anyway i'm gonna click end turn and this is funny i'm not even holding the button down but because i was mid click okay end battle that was not close that was a fantastic win for our forces there's a guy outside using a disc cutter or something like that But there we go. They've well, we didn't get, we didn't get as many of them as we would like, but we didn't lose too many men either. Yes, you have to fall back. You know what's coming. Although I don't like the fact that you're now you're both sides of the river. That's potentially a bit dodgy. But we do need to then push on Kabul rapidly because they've just moved a bunch of troops out of there. Hmm. So that army may fall back across the river so they don't get caught in a position where I have to defend a river crossing as well as keep an eye out for armies joining the front. Hmm. Yeah, that's not unsurprising. Oh, they've landed an army. We do have... Karnataka is... Is it fully garrisoned? Even if it's not fully garrisoned, this army is going to spin around and garrison it. We aren't going to leave it ungarrisoned. But yeah, notice how the turn suddenly grinding to a halt because they suddenly realised, oh, nuts. We've got to send troops everywhere. And there's only so fast they can recruit them. And there's more Ottoman troops on the way. <sighs> okay, it's just the one. I can do with I can deal with just the one. Let's do this. I don't so I'm on I'm not in the middle of the crossing, but I'm on the river. But we're both on the same side, so. I don't know if it means it's a river battle or if it's a conventional battle. It's probably going to be conventional, but I'd like it to be river. Yeah, because I was I was a bit further on one side than the other. That makes sense. Okay, you're a bit depleted, so let's. There we go. Gotta be careful I don't deploy some of my weakest units into the front. I've not taken the time to manage these guys into the most efficient like depth. Okay, I might have to deploy my weakest units on a flank just to make sure I don't get surprised. Something like that. Need to get our general involved. How it's uh, firing the white stuff. Both firing round shot. They can all target those mortars, which they need to. Holy moly. So they're dropping shells right in the middle of our line. We've put such a weight of shells against them. Can you guys even... No. Also, can they shrapnel them? That would be very helpful. like to try and I would like to, to put these guys out of commission but I don't think I'm gonna get given the chance. Hmm. 
No, they've, they've suddenly they they twigged as soon as I started to move that cavalry. Very well. We shall defeat your armies the old-fashioned way. See, their, their howitzers have actually... Oh, God, they've not got two guns here. And they've bugged them so they can't fire. Okay. I'm going to manoeuvre a Mameluke unit into position. They have left a gap. Yeah, my see the how it says the guns sit there going, oh but we're wavering. And they're going, yeah, but okay, they sent They sent the camels to chase me down, but my guys are faster than camels. Not that faster than that cavalry though, so. Oh, they got hit by the Zimandari horsemen. Take him out. You guys can now shrapnel, in theory, the living... Well, I mean, this gun team's already destroyed. So if you're going to take them out, please. Ha-ha! You fools! So that was the Lancer unit from the Extreme Fink, wasn't it? Okay, let's get my Mamelukes out there. Then let's get these guys to do a... sweeping run around onto this flank. Get the camels out on the left. Those lancers look upset, the camels are upset, these guys are upset. So my gunners, they weren't firing anyway, so... See, if I could knock out that dervish unit in pretty quick order... The rest of these this flanks. The rest of the uh, the army's holding pretty well. Pivot you guys like that. Run the musket run the camels up. Pick artillery targets, remember to not charge that unit of Oh, they're charging me down with the cavalry. Okay, there we go, the dervishes have gone. This artillery unit, to be honest, isn't likely to be needed to kill units at the front. Oh, the native lance has caught some of them. He caught some of them, but not all of them. Get them back to the line. Yeah, now you guys have loading and firing. Okay, the general's actually shooting at us. comes the cavalry.
They're very keen to get at us, as you can see. The enemy general's been killed from a cannon shot. Let's deploy my cavalry to counter theirs. Deploy my camels to charge down that unit of bowmen. Go straight through into the lancers. If you work at the work at the musketeer units, get my general's bodyguard off. There we go. Get the mamelukes to charge straight through. Levy, levy, lances. move the right flank up. My centre took a bit of a hammering. There we go, we're getting a good amount of kills on the left. But like I said, this army, once it's fought, probably needs to, needs to withdraw. General. Okay, they're all starting to rout, so my general's going to position ready for these guys to rout. There we go. Let's speed up time, and we are going to continue. All those guys are going to rout. Could do with getting them over here to help help take out some of these infantry units. But whatever, there's no immediate rush. Hindu musketeers are just as worth attacking. Come on. On to the Sikh Musketeers. There we go. God, they got they got annihilated damn fast. These Kizilbashi are going down. Yes. But there's a whole bunch of uh, Mughal troops coming down the river, so we wanna we wanna book it pretty quick with that army. They need to head south to help uh, provide some cover. But yeah, I think Mysore is feeling... Uh, no, Mysore. The Mughal Empire is feeling uh, a bit under pressure. I think. The Huron. The Huron will probably declare on us sooner or later. Looks like the pirates are determined to continue their crusade to uh, just frustrate us. But they're more than welcome to do so. I have no interest in fighting them at sea. Hey! They sabotaged a pleasure garden. How dare they? No, oh, Arcot's garrisoned. They can come after us if they like. We've only got one gun to make a breach. Instead, what this guy's going to do... Let's do something pretty devastating. He's going to auto-resolve this fight, get into the port, and then kick out the very weak Ottoman navy out to sea, which is currently embarking a full stack, and destroying it. We lost four ships in that. Oh well. Get into dock. New men repair. And then the navy. Rebuild. And my agent here. Uh, infiltrate Hyderabad. I'm not going to call them back at Karnataka. They might do some raiding, so I might cancel building this spice warehouse. Like I said, you 
need to book it while we're replenishing. You can probably march east to support them. You're not at full strength, but you're you can make good enough progress to get right up to Kabul. And then we have two armies here, which can then knock out those guys and allow them to keep pushing east. This sort of army here can finish off those Mughals. So let's replenish, let's repair. Don't need any artillery. You want probably two more units of cavalry and two melee infantry units, I would say. You can get a Circassian armored oh, cav. Get a Mameluk as a light cavalry unit. Then melee infantry. Don't 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 Feline. I haven't recruited many Feline. They're not as good, strictly speaking, as other units, but why not? Adds a bit of variety. Although I can actually just pinch. Pinch some cavalry off of that convoy moving south. Let's give them a general. And let's. If this is going to be a resupply army, let's just get some. Even though things like siege guns are going to take forever to get down there, let's pick a. Yeah, get some hand mortar. Hand mortar units. Or just the one then. Yeah, there's a lot of lag in this when I try and click the button. That's why I have to press it once and then leave it. So generally how I like to treat... I could get some of my own dervishes, get some Islamic swordsmen. I want to start trying to create these like resupply convoys, but they've only got two units in each... Two, two types of each unit in the army. So I want them to be more of a... You know, I've got a little bit of what you need. So you guys are going to be the trade port. You guys are going to march down to this port, kick this small uh, force out of it, which my army will then destroy. You get down to here as well. Okay, get some Spahi, get a 64 pounder, two 24s. Two big old howitzers. Well, I can fill this recruitment line up pretty much. Let's get some grenadiers and let's get some. I've got some elite musket. Oh, I've already got grenadiers. Okay. Let's get some guards, some Jastri guards. There we go. And let's probably get. I could recruit some Afghan hillmen. Kurdish hillmen. Let's get some Kurdish hillmen. There we go. Give them a bit of a bit of skirmishing there. Sazik Safet has become a superior general. Mohammed Safet has been steady under fire and a corporal in gold braid. Although he did, like I said, he did have to book it. Okay, let's do a bit of building. Obviously, there's madrasas across the board. Some places they aren't strictly necessary, like here in Narun. Um, but the idea here, here is to help try and generate more priests to help convert the rest of the territories in India that are other religions to some top tier. We've got some top tier um, industrial buildings there. So let's just keep on building. Upgraded Hispaniola. Ultimate I could do with having a good dockyard, really. Can you guys come down here and knock out these guys, even though it's a bit unnecessary to send a big fleet like that to do it. Keep your known blockaded. 
You guys get another sloop, so you can send this army here from Ceylon onto the continent. Do you just push on to Hyderabad? If, they've, if they can leave it exposed, I mean, there was an army here, but they marched north, so we've still got time. Fleet arrives. Yes, this is what we want to see. Let's deposit you in Madras. Then you can march northeast. And what I'll do, actually, is I'll march, deploy you guys like so. March you guys northeast. Take one of these ships that's already here and scout. Okay. A couple of armies up here at Kutak. Let's raid it. A lot of armies up here, actually. Okay, let's send another army to protect them so I can try and leapfrog. Ahmed Ismail. Okay, try march up to this bridge crossing at first, because that would be quite a good way to draw some of these chaps into the fire. At some point we need to hit Mysore. Looks like we might have to do a speedy city capture to do that. That was the other fleet that arrived. I accidentally recruited a bunch of <laughs> fifth rate admirals. There we go. Path block. Kismetevlik. Eh, chill out. Trait gain, Nelly. Percussion shells research. Now we're on to the last technology of the game. Percussion caps, which for the Ottomans doesn't get us anything apart from um, bonuses when it comes to firing our weapons. In terms of everyone else... Uh, you're, so you're replenishing still, and you've, you're getting your howitzers from Madrid, no, from Lisbon, sorry. There we go. So, let's keep building armies down here, because it would be a terrible shame to waste all this cavalry sat here doing nothing. So I only want two in each army because I want to tag them with a light cavalry unit. So ultimately what I might do is Madrid, you recruit... See, I don't really want Delhi horsemen, but that's what we're going to have to do. Three Delhi horsemen, one for each army. Then we can get two, two, two for each army. You get three, one, two, three, one, two, three for each army. Good. So that's a serious amount of firepower being recruited. Could speed it up. Actually, could definitely. Yeah. Can't really get great units in. Tangier because not, it's not fully upgraded. Let's upgrade you to a trade port. And let's get a Jebek ready to f occupy a port. Okay, cool. To be honest, the safest thing to do, because I've got everywhere covered, and I'm not at war with Mysore yet, is to take Mr. Darnat, march him south to go hit Mr. Singh himself. Because we're not doesn't cause us any problems. They're already depleted, so lots of the armies, the units, aren't actually at full strength. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to win the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the Ottoman Empire. Cheers, everyone.